Nice call. I think it was just standing straight at the top gun. I was ripping alongside the jet landing. Yeah. Hey, and welcome to another episode of The Throttle Therapist. Today, our therapy session on the bike takes us to the US of A. We're heading into Washington State from British Columbia, Canada. The town closest to the border is Surrey, that's on the Canada side, and we're heading into Blaine, Washington. The object of today is ride to cross the border and head to the following destinations. We'll start off uh, aiming for Blaine to figure out what we're doing. Now I would film through the border but there's some pretty strict do not film signs up and they have not been happy with me before. So I stopped filming right about now and we'll pick up again once we're on the other side of the border. So we just made it across the border. Ricky, did you have a bit of autism at the border? Yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> didn't, didn't realize my ignition was turned off. I was like, I'm like, what is happening? I was like, there's no lights on your bike yeah, at all. Why can't I turn my bike off? <laughs> I'm like, I'm hitting Just panicking. Ah, yeah. oh, fuck. I was like, oh God, he's getting pulled over as he makes it through his paint over. <laughs> Anyways, we're in Blaine Bellingham now, about to get a, a little coffee and figure out what we're doing today. Okay, so from uh, Blaine, this is just us leaving the little town of Blaine. Uh, we're heading for Bellingham, which is a really cute little town on the coast. From Bellingham, we are headed to Anacortes. Um, Anacortes is the home of the Oyster Run, which is a super fun motorcycle event around the end of September. I think it's the fourth Sunday in September. It's a really fun event if you happen to be in the area on those days. Here's Ricky displaying the international sign for I'm out of gas uh, and I don't own a Senna. Get a center, Ricky. So I kept this little clip in because I just thought these buildings in the water or close to the water were so cool. Like the old mills or whatever they do, they just look to be so rad. I don't even know if they're still in production or not. Hear my XP9 roar. So continuing on, on our journey then, we're going to hit Anacortes, have a beer or something, and um, then we're going to head south uh, on the like sort of islandy things. They're not technically an island because there's roads on and off of them, uh, but definitely that island vibe. So just enjoy the views, I'll catch up with you in a second. We overshot again, but it's okay, we're going to go that way instead. It wants me to go back that way, so... Okay, right on. We just go back up to 12th which is that, uh, so we'll catch it over there, and 12 turns into chuck a nut, okay. Okay, so big point there is uh, you can either take the highway all the way to number 20 to catch uh, the road out to Anacortes, or you can take chuck a nut drive and drive through the farmlands and stuff. Chuck a nut drive is one of my favorite rides if you time it well. It can be one of the most frustrating rides with regards to traffic. It can be brutal. Everyone and their dog takes their freaking motorhomes and all sorts of other crap with them down Chakanat Drive for the nice scenery. And unfortunately, that really gets in the way of fun bike times. So, you know, try and time it well in the middle of the week. At the time we did it, it was perfect.
So hopefully you're enjoying this up till now. I certainly was on the bike. Every now and then you'll get a kind person like this who just decides to pull over at the right moment. Stop up here for a piss and a beer. So here we are rolling into downtown Anacortes. Anacortes? I don't really know how to say it. Um, super cute town. Lots of fun, lots of fun things to do, lots of cool little bars as you will soon see. Yeah, I can do. Okay, so we've made it to Anacortes. We're gonna go in this brown lantern ale house for a little brewski. Oh yeah. Follow me too, Ricky. Ah, oh, let's let's go. Next up on our adventure today is to uh, Oak Harbor. Oak Harbor, and then we're gonna maybe trip. We can get down to yeah, Clinton. Clinton. And then try and ferry back to the mainland, maybe. Yep. Maybe. We'll see. And we're on the road again, in out of quarters. Okay, so in this part of the video, my GoPro started to be non-compliant with me, as it often is. Um, Ricky is a marine biologist of sorts and works for the government of Canada, um, especially around salmon and making sure the populations of fish are good. So anyways, we are at Deception Pass Bridge. He looks down and he's like, I just seen 
two orcas with huge dorsal fins come up. As we were riding over, I didn't even notice. Um, so he's pointing them out for us here. So in spots like this with heavy current, like that, you get a lot of nutrients in the water here. And it's just tons of life. So we end up walking under the road and uh, down the other side to see if we can catch them. They move so fast up current. You can see the boat struggling. They're just giving it full bull. Um, but the orcas just cruise up. It's crazy. A lot of current moving through there, man. Yeah. A lot of water coming through one really skinny spot. So good. Where'd they go? Oh, there yeah. they are. They're right. in the middle. Oh, way out there. Alright, so watch what happens here. I don't know if you can see it yet in the video, but look in the sky just above the horizon, above the trees there. You should start to see what we encountered here, which is the first time in my life I've ever seen anything like this in real life. I, I mean, I've seen it in the movies, but uh, so cool ricky decides he's like yeah i gotta see this takes a right off some random road and there you have an f-18 jet coming in to land isn't that so awesome Top gun. I was ripping alongside the jet landing. Yeah. That was working. Yeah, that was so cool. Yeah, so cool. Did it, is that an F-16 or F-18? F-18. F-18, yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah, man. Plus, we got some cows, everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. That's cool. Wouldn't you believe it? It happened again right away. We just pulled out and then we see another one coming in. So we decided to chase that one as well. I wonder if they're just practicing takeoff and landing. Yeah, back to my way. That was awesome. <laughs> Two in a row. Love well, racing that guy. That was working. Is this another one? Or is that a different kind of plane? Uh, I wonder if we'll see another jet take off. Ah, you can't believe I had the top gun racing an F-18 fighter jet down the runway. That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> Out. 
got the rookie at the wheel, bud. <laughs> nice. Four states in Alberta every summer. All oh, my summer camps. Yeah. And, uh, well, that's where all the F-18s in Western Canada are based, right? So we were living like. So we're just standing there, not really paying attention, and we realize another F-18 is just about to take off. Listen to the sound of this bad boy. So I believe the Air Force was called the Whidbey Island Naval Base or something like that. If you want to check that out. Um, this is us rolling into Oak Bay. Also a cute little town with a huge dog thing. So after we had some lunch in Oak Bay, we decided to cruise back. And actually the GoPro worked this time and I was able to film riding over the the Deception Pass Bridge. Um, so this is where we saw the orcas on the way down. Uh, super pretty as you can see. And very touristy as you can also see. like to take this opportunity to say thanks so much for watching if you made it this far uh, please like and subscribe and share and tell your friends uh, it really means a lot to me and uh, I'd love to take you on some more of my adventures until next time cheers